this Jamboree? You think I'm talking here, right? You think I'm talking here? But I'll pull my head off! Pull no, 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 my prince! No, 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 Tell me pull my prince and now! Pull that thing away! You're going to hurt yourself! Put that gun away, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. Not your son. You caused me so much pain. You sent him away. Now she has got into the hands of another man. A man that proposed to her just with today. Why did you cause me so much pain? I'm sorry, I'm not, not deserving her forgiveness. But finally, you know, I have to forgive me and I have sinned against you. Forgive me. I should forgive you. Now you tell us, who are his parents? Unless we are his parents. You're my mother. I am your mother. You're my mother. And yet you cost me so much pain. Do you know what I sent away? You do not relate to Anthony Ugochuko Keke of Ayo Motors. What? what? Do you even get to find out? What? Hey, what is what? I didn't know. You mean is the daughter of Ayo Motors CEO that you called classless? I am sorry, I didn't know. Huh. I don't know. Like, I'm sorry, after ruining my life. After taking away my happiness. Daddy! Your son! Daddy! Don't please. Please, please. Don't just. Don't do it. Don't. Come on. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find a place. I've been going through. Come on. Hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material thing. Lovers. Can I go for Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, this is fine. Okay. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. I think I'll go back to what I was saying before. Oh, Thank okay. you, ma'am. Thank you very much. So, how is my beautiful daughter in law? She is good. Hmm. I can't wait for my son to come back from the UK so that they can get married and start building a family of their own. It has been our endless desire. I can't wait to see that son to pass. I know. I personally warned my son. I don't want him to marry a white woman. Yeah, because I will never accept a, a white woman in this house. Come here, that's what I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. What's this? What's that? From Facebook. Yes. I want our woman. Hmm. To Africa. 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 Yes. Finish, don't add weight. I don't ask who you be. They say I don't add weight. You, you, you have weight. <laughs> you don't know remember me. Mm. Madam Stella's daughter, I don't know. Ah, ah. Mm. I'm Jay. Ah, ah. <laughs> Can you imagine? 
Now one girl when they beat me for tonight, make you no remember. Hmm. <laughs> I had it like the dude with all the beat me. Yeah. How you doing? You know it's your fault. Hey. Yes, my mother. Okay, she did my hair. Yes, yes sir. Hi, hey, welcome, eh? Thanks. I just told you today, sorry, I'll take our books. I did tell you, huh? that's refresh. I appreciate this gateway you do. You know, they figure good for you. They give you good money after the night. Look, I appreciate this. I did tell you, many students, you know, they see good job. Nothing common. I, I appreciate this position. Look, I did you. you just left for school. You were here during the weekend. And you're back. Yes. What brings you? To show fee. This is not a good time to ask for money. And you know it. But Mama, I told you now. I told you the last time I came that they said if any, anybody that does not pay his or her tuition fee will not be allowed to write the examination. And this is my final year exam. Hey, Jama. Ma. You and I know too well that this is the middle of the month. And my salary is not due for payment. Uh, uh, Mama, you can go and meet the doctor and prof. Tell them that your daughter is in their need of the money. That your daughter needs to pay her tuition fee so that she can write her final year exam. See, Mama, there's a way you will place your mouth. There is a way you will explain to them. These people will know that this thing. There's a, they will know that they will know the gravity. They will understand that the daughter is in their need of that money. Final year exam, Mama. Mm -hmm. Explain to them. Sugarcoat it in a way. I do, you are a mother. You know how to explain something. So that somebody's heart is flying. Yes, thank you very much, Preacher. See the way you are arranging it. He's coming out of your mind like tap. He's just flowing. No full stop, no command, nothing. No, I was explaining. I know you are explaining. I know you are explaining. I cannot do that. Do you understand me? I cannot do that. But, Mama, Mama, see, I, I, this thing is very important too. I need to pay my, 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 my tuition fee so I can write my final year exam. You, you know, you already know this. And you have to just help me. Yes, so all, the, all the money that you've been spending all these years, it should be a waste too. Yeah, you me. want me to have a fire? Which year? Hey, your man! Ah, ah. Go back to the school. Beg your teacher. Tell him to allow you to write your exam. Tell him that your mother is coming to pay at the end of the month. Professor, let me be on my way. If I stand here, we'll continue to cheese. <laughs> saying it and discussing and having fun. I think let's talk. Ah, it was nice talking with you. Thank you. Let me be on my way. My regards to Honorable and Rachel. Tell her particularly that I love her so much. She loves you too. And she will hear. Say it, okay? Alright. Victor! Open the game for her! Oh, Mama, please. I cannot wait till the end of the month. Seriously, Mama, this is very important to me. This is my final year exam. I'm begging you, please, Mama. Don't know how you will go and meet for. Beg her. Beg her so that she's able to give me the money on time. Please. Take the message to them. How, how serious this case is. I'm begging you. I should go and meet you for. Yeah. And you know who she is. Go to doctor. Pijama? No. Pro employed me, not doctor. Oh? Mama, go for for doctor, anyone. Just tell them. I'm free to them now. Mama, who are you going to go and tell them? Mama, please, I'm begging you. This thing is very important to me. Please. This is my final year exam, Mama. Eh? Please, help me get there. Chief. I'm fine, sir. I'm fine. Yes. <laughs> I hope my wife is back. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Son? Yes, the senator and our family, we are planning a grand wedding for you and their doctor. Yes, a lot of witnesses will be in that country. You will enjoy the wedding, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Oh, all right. 
That is why we call it work. Every work has its own attendant threat. Yeah. What do you like with it? That is the usual word. And let's patronize me small. <laughs> <laughs> so how did we go to the hospital? Everything went well? So far so good. Well, Welcome back. Yeah. Looking beautiful as always. Well. Aww, thank you. <laughs> Mama, now that the doctor is back, I think this is the right time to talk to Prof in his presence. It will be more fruitful. She will not refuse. Mm -hmm. What to do? Mama, do you have another plan? Yes. What is this plan? I'll go and borrow money. And I will pay when I get my salary. Mama, do you think that's the best idea? I think so. Why? I don't want them to see us as slavists. You are right, Mama. I think that's the best idea. I want you to write your final results and come out with flying colors, good grades. Finish your NYSC. Get a very good job. Jama, I'm old. I need to rest. Mama, I understand. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything you've been doing for us. You have been there for us since Papa died. Thank you. Jama. What I'm doing is for you to be able to take care of your younger ones. What? Mama, I promise you, I'm going to try my best to come out in flying colors, get a good job, and take good care of you and my younger ones. Thank you, Mama.
So tell me, what the world are you? I'm 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 Is that how you become your mother ah. of money? No, sir. She has not paid my tuition fee. And without it, I cannot write to her anymore. Oh. Stella, don't worry. You don't look like that. Hmm? Anyways, uh, give your money. I will give 100,000 naira to you. Jesus! Why are you screaming? Sir. Uh, so that you can take care of the tuition you talked about and uh, get yourself some other things. Oh, sir. Sir, God will bless you. On top of the one he has already blessed you, God will continue to boost all the work of your hands. You will never make a better yesterday, sir. Sir, thank you. You don't know what you have done for me. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Oh, I'm not looking for that thousand. I was thinking of going to borrow money for the new job. Whatever it is, you come from God like this. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. God replenish your pockets. Add more money, more money. More money, more money to you. Bro, thank you so much. You know, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Thank you. Thank you. You are easy. Hey! This God. This God. Taking care of his widow. Okay. Mm. I want you to focus. I want you to prepare for your exams, please. Mm. I want you to make me a proud mother. Pico. I will, mean, Mama. Mama, say me well to my younger brother. They will hear. You trust me, now. I miss you. I miss you too. I miss you already. Hmm? Take care of yourself and go. I love you, my daughter. Let's go.
I beg you, you say, are you not fresh? <laughs> so, uh, but I'm surprised you came back alone. Wait, I don't understand. I traveled alone now. Why is the guy the whole of you can come back? But I expected you to come back with one beautiful white lady. Or a fiancé at least. Uh, yeah, I beg you. When they're all, uh, there are a whole lot of uh, beautiful women in our land. No, no, I can't get my feelings to one. So, I mean, you left all the beautiful white girls to come down here to my summer land. Well, the truth is, um, uh, my parents try to have one for me though. Yeah, yeah. Your friends found a wife for you already? My brother, they did actually, and uh, we have not met in person, but they sent me a picture, and I've been talking, you know, and I think I like her. <laughs> you think you like her? Oh, well, I, I like her. She's, she's fine, she's gorgeous, she's classy. She's from a rich home, so yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So indeed, beauty lies in the eyes of the people. Well, you can say that again, my brother, my my brother, my brother. <laughs> so good to see you. I'm so happy. Hey, hey, I hope you've not been jumping from one woman to the other. No, you, no, no, I've been you that I know, is it? I will take you to all the hangout spots. Ah. Uh, <laughs> incredible hangout spots, just. I trust right. you, man. I trust you. I'm so good to be back here. You know now. My guy, my guy. The young boy! Ah, the young boy! <laughs> hey! 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 <laughs> I like that. It's still good to be home. Yeah. I love that. You're welcome once again, my son. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Look at you. Thank 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 you. Your house I just had was awesome. It was uh -huh. so yummy. Uh -huh. ah, guy, I've not had so much in the longest of time. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, um, who's going to prepare such African dish for you over there? Uh -huh. uh, well, except our evil brothers and sisters who have a strand there, right? I know, I know, but guy, trust me, it doesn't taste as good as this. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's but so nice. Mean? <laughs> Stella here, you can be rest assured, Stella here is a wonderful chef. Thank you, Prof. I'm going to. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Marcella has been doing great things. For time! I remember those days where she would make that ukwa and. Um... And the Oh! Wow! Oh, <laughs> well, you know it! So you still remember? You still remember? Still on your magical fingers. Oh, no, 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 how can a foodie do that? Dad, food? Dad, no! It's <laughs> not possible. It's 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 not possible. I'm surprised you know, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a baller. I won't go there. Oh, yeah, I was a chill. But I'm still a baller. <laughs> I love that sound. Anyways, what is it? Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's not good. Yeah, yeah it's so much fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. I think we did it for one minute. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I think it's time uh, to get to see your parents and do the things for you. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but before that, we'll have to do like the premarital test for the moms. Do you have a problem with it? I don't have a problem with that.
I do the year you look really beautiful. Oh, thank you. So beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> How come you know a place as beautiful and classy as this? I told you. I told you I was a baller. <laughs> and I'm still a baller. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, look. You know, when I was still in Nigeria, this was the place I normally come around with my best friend. I am Benson. You know, we came here now. We came to run things. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. You do? Yeah, I do. Nice. So, um, I'm seated here with the senator's daughter, a graduate of chemical engineering. <laughs> <laughs> How oh, can you still remember? I don't forget things. I don't forget easily. Mm -hmm. So, um, Sita, tell me about your past and present relationships. I have no relationship. Oh, come on, come on. You can't tell me a pretty lady like you has no relationship or had no relationship or something. Okay, um, let's say I broke up with my ex oh. because I caught him cheating. Cheating? What do you make a sane guy when there's no more sense to cheat on a pretty lady like you? You know, after investing thousands of dollars on me, he had the opportunity to cheat on me with a low power. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, frequently I ask myself. What do men want? Uh, well, if you ask me, uh, it depends. I don't know. I don't, whatever will make a guy or a lady cheat on his or her spouse, you know, could be peace of mind or disrespect. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You know, my parents have been together for the longest of time, and I can quickly tell you that what I've kept that relationship going is peace of mind, especially for a man. You know, and, and they respect each other. So I feel if you give me peace of mind and I give you peace of mind, this will go a long way. Mm. Yeah. yeah Sorry, my manners. Um, drinks, right? Yes, drinks. <laughs> Waiter! <laughs> Waiter! <laughs> Take it easy. The way, the way you go from this thing, it's not water, it's alcohol. Waiter! One more glass cup of this. <laughs> Please, Please relax. The way you're drinking this thing, at this rate, you get tipsy and drunk. I'm enjoying myself. And I got to enjoy myself to be full. Look at this little thing. Easy, easy, easy. Oh. Hey. Have I told you that? It makes me happy. It makes me feel on top of the world. But, you know? Because the rich are taking it, it's so much. What? It, it, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It, it's okay. It's fine. You've been taking about three glasses now. It's okay. Yes, can we go to Okay, that's fine. Come. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. Hey. 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. The soup? Yes, yes. The soup, right? Yes, yes. The soup. Okay. The soup? Yes, yes. The soup. 
Thank you, ma'am. It's all right, you can go back to work. Thank you so much. What do you think you can do? Have you tried calling him? No, I've not called him. Why no? Your only son left this house this morning and has not returned that. You are saying you didn't call his line? And you are just here worrying about it? Uh, 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 now, uh, maybe I'll try to call him now. Ah, I'm sorry. You didn't try this time. I, I will have to call him when I get to Hey, hey, look, um, can we go home now? Where? 
Really? No. Not even. Look, look, you already have me twice. You already forced your way on me twice. In fact, you raped me. <laughs> what did you just say? I raped you? How? How is it possible? A girl raped a guy? Who would believe that? I know you enjoyed every bit of it. And I know you can't wait to have me again like what you want. No, no, it's, look. Let's just go home, okay? We can, you see, look, we can always do this on the phone. For his dear life. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine a guy running for a America. <laughs> and hey, no problem. I know you're gonna come back. I am the sweetest of them all. The be so sweet. I'm glad! <laughs> 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 I woke up to you in the house this morning. And she now is not back. And he left me for you. Is that enough reason for you? Stay out late. And what, what do you have me say? What is keeping that boy out until now? That's gotten me here. Let me call him again. She called him the first time he did. Hello? Why are you calling my phone? You didn't want the coach to still call me. I'm not forcing yourself on me. What is your problem? Read my lips. It is over. Don't ever call my phone again. What's your problem? David. Um, Dad. Where are you ranting? Sorry, Dad. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. I just had to. 
no issue, so what? Okay. So where are you? Yes, yes, I'm on my way home. Good. You better be. And I need you to be home within the next 10 minutes. Okay? Okay. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. I'm not going to condone this nonsense in my house. Let him come back and explain to me who raped him. What? Who raped who? That is what we need to find out when he comes back.
Değil. Çok mal. Do you know that I got drinks like a fish? Uh -huh. She drank a full bottle of alcohol right before me. Um, Dave, you've been my close friend for a very long time. Tell me everything that transpired. <sighs> okay. She got all tipsy. I was asking me to take her into the hotel shoot and all. And did you do it? I had to. This girl was creating a scene. And she was embarrassing me, man. I just had to take her out of the hole. Besides, you know I'm a shy person. <laughs> I know. So, when you guys got to the hotel, what happened there? Oh. This girl was on me. Trying to take off my clothes. I was trying to, like, calm down. Relax now. You know these things now. You didn't have... Do you know this girl was telling me that no, no man can ever resist her. No man has ever resisted her. Bro, it was not a small thing, though. Okay, you know what? Without even mixing words, this girl creeps me. Wait. She raped you. How is that possible? I don't know. Why can't she do hard drugs? What? I don't even know. It felt like the girl was on hard drugs or something. This is unbelievable. I can't believe that Rachel raped you. Look, <laughs> it was me that passed through the experience. This girl hurt me twice. I had to chill till she dozed off. And I took to my heel. I ran for my life. I mean, this is very funny. Is this the kind of girl your parents want you to marry? You know, I was leading her to just calm down. This girl showed no mercy. Sometimes when I think about the whole thing, I feel disgusted. I feel, I feel ashamed. Because no girl has ever done such a thing to me. Yes, indeed. This is very disgusting. I mean, I, I, I can't even wrap my head around this. It was Richard that called. My love, in as much as I know our son, David is not a liar. But I knew I, I mean, who handled this carefully. Let us be tactical with this. Eh? Let's hear Richard's part of the story. No way. I will not give Richard room for explanation. Let me take on No, I will not. I will not. I, 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 I want the best for my son. Me too. Richard is not the best for my son. I think what I will do is I will just call him Senator George and tell him that his daughter has messed up the whole thing and that this arrangement will not work. I love you doing such thing. Watch me. No, not so soon. No, watch me. Look, if David marries this girl, he will die before his time. My love. Let us not be rash in taking our decision now. Let us hear from Rachel. Before we jump into conclusion, please. I will give Rachel no room for explanation. That is where you got it all wrong. I didn't need to know you for now. Your son has spoken. Let us hear from the poor girl. My invention. I have my fears. Which is? Look, 
Fine with you know what we did, but he's protection. Okay, so <laughs> what exactly is your fear? That she could have infected me with STD or something. Huh. <laughs> well, I suppose we all have different fears. For me, I'm worried that she might come here one day and say you got her pregnant. Wait, wait, could it be that she tried to scheme her way through to get me to marry her? <laughs> but my parents have already agreed to the, uh, you know, they had their own agreement on all. This girl just blew the whole thing out of promotion. Yeah, you're right. I think so too. So, um, tell me, how was the experience like? I don't understand. I mean, um, <laughs> when she was playing with your balls, did you enjoy it? Are you crazy? Are you? Come on, tell me, bro. <laughs> Look at you. Tell well, me. um, I won't do it when she was doing her thing right little and all. I was more than a pleasure. Yeah. What's wrong with you? And she was wet, right? Wow. <laughs> wow, oh. oh, that means you enjoyed yourself. And that is not rape. What are you saying? <laughs> so many questions begging for answers. So, tell me. Do you have any injury around your private part? I have no bruises. What kind of questions are you asking me? <laughs> Well, for me, it was just two adults enjoying themselves. And my friend thinks he was raped. Really? <laughs> Can't laugh for what I care. Oh, I know you enjoyed it, right? You enjoy it. Come on, dude. Wow! And what are you doing in my house? Since you have developed hard hearing, what are you doing in my house? Go back to wherever you are coming from. No, I am talking to myself, Rachel, or whatever they call me. Leave my house now. I should go. I'm here to see my baby. There is no baby in my house. Please, or oh, I ask people to bundle you out of this house now. Please. Why the right language is mother? I am not your mother. I can never give birth to a well-born girl like you. Leave! I don't understand. Why the... Pray nothing happens to my son. Pray you have not infected you with HIV. Because I'm going to skin you and your entire generation. I'll kill you both to death. What is that? Oh, you're surprised. You raped my poor innocent boy. Rachel, to think I recommended you for my son to marry. What was I even thinking? Is this a woman you have turned into? A wayward and a cheap woman that sleeps with anything and everything. Just leave. Leave my house now. I'll push you. Get out! What is this? Is she in the Oh my goodness! Get out! Oh my goodness! Fine, I leave! Tell me she was on the Yeah. 
And I've been looking all over for you. I even went to your room, you were not there. Mom, what's your name? I've been looking for that. I've not seen Dave. I mean, he has not visited since he mm -hmm. came back. We broke up. Bro! You what? You broke up! What happened? No, it's time to happen. No! 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 Sweet child, you promised me. You promised this will never happen again, Richard. What happened? I don't know what came over me. I told myself, drink. I was too helpless. I was drinking and drinking and before I know it, yeah, it happened again. Come on! What is this? What is wrong that my only daughter will be useless? What have I done to deserve this? My own daughter. My only daughter sleeps with men at will. mentioned that I can't wait for him to come and whip up my daughter before he starts seeing other girls. Absolutely. Uh, I discussed that with Doc. He said they were not going to waste time. I cannot wait to see my daughter get married into that reputable family. Yes, uh, uh, with what I discussed with Doc. He said that the marriage is as good as settled. And I lucky. I feel like the luckiest woman on earth. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's the lucky, Rachel. Rachel! Rachel! Wow. You called me? Where are you? Oh. Yeah. Don't tell me you just been here locked in your own talk. While I was talking to you. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't know you were talking to me. What were you thinking about? <laughs> Let me into that sweet mind of yours. No, 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 no. It's better. Yes, it's better. I'm very tired. I have to go out and return. I need to go upstairs, Mama. <laughs> Are you okay? Is this mom? I'm fine. Dad is to me? Yes. Okay. What about this? You see, my daughter, mm. you have lost so many men due to a habit that is beyond your control. A habit of drinking and forcing men to have sex with you against their will. Mom. Why are you bringing this up again? I promise this will never happen again. He said that after that incident with Russia, he made a promise. It 
Are you okay? I'm fine. fine. Rachel. Yes, ma'am. There is one guy I love and respect so much. He's one man I hold in high esteem. Do not scare him away. The habit of sleeping with men on a first date should stop. Let them see you as a classic girl that you are, not a whore. It's not happening to you, Mom. You promise? I promise. I promise, Mom. You're okay, man? Eh? I begged you. I begged you to stop this habit of drinking, but no! You won't listen. No. I was helpless. Okay. We were watching his father's house when he said we should go outside. Yeah. But I was helpless. Helpless? When you first? No. When you were busy cooking the alcohol down your throat. When you first? Nobody can force me to drink. Nobody forced me to drink. I drink because I like drinking. I drink because it makes me happy. Shut up! Shut your mouth! I drink because it makes me happy. I drink because you like drinking. See how messed up your life has become. You have lost your chances of being with a good man. All folks are not gone yet. Yes, there's always a space for second chance. So, stop getting up there. Second chance, you say? Second chance. This is two weeks since the incident. Neither they nor the mom has called either of us. What does that tell you? Dave is just angry. With time he will get over it and he will come back to me. I know that. I've been thinking. I've been thinking. Why don't we go and apologize to Dave and the mom? Oh no. oh no, I can't do that. Can't. Why can't you do that? Mom, what I did to say this is I'm unpardonable. I can't go there. Rachel. Rachel, you have spoiled everything. You have made things up for us. By now, your marriage rights and everything would have been completed. Yes? Huh? I can't believe you lost Dr. Dave. My son has been lost. Has. Huh? Oh, child. I don't even know what's wrong with My life is completely here. Next up. I feel like starting this miserable life and something like that. Oh, no, no. You, you, you can't stop this, you know. You were not like this years back. Come on, tell me. You were not like this. I'm sure this is a habit to fix up abroad. But you can always change. Nim. You can do anything once you put your mind to it. Come on, tell mommy. You can do this. Hmm? Wow. I wish I can write my wrong. You can't do that. Mommy, you can't. Please. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. Just be determined. Oh wow, this is chic. Look at her pictures. She's so pretty. Let me send her a friend request. I hope she accepts. 
one name again, it's Emma. Oh, Emma. Nice. Yeah, I wish I said so I could kick off something there. Okay. You can go to DM and send her the love emoji. Just you know, they could have. Just one zero. Oh. But Chelsea will always be. Oh, that's me. That's me. That's not too much. Hey, pass your ball now. Hmm. <laughs> um, bro, I've been meaning to ask you. Okay. What are your plans? Do you intend to work at your dad's hospital or at the teaching hospital? For well, now, I'm just taking my time. Look, I'm in no rush, so I'm just trying to take it one step at a time. Well, there's a common saying, and I don't mind if there was one shot. So, if you ask me, I'll tell you work at your dad's hospital. That's a nice one. Mm, well, that's that. That's a good option, though. Yeah, fantastic idea. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, yeah. There is this new chick I met on Facebook. Facebook? Yes, her name is it's Emma or something. In fact, guy, you need to take it with her. She is super pretty. <laughs> Bruh. Facebook girls. Let me show you. Just hold on. She's hot. <laughs> Are these her pictures? Of course. I've been trying to for a while. <laughs> uh, bro, most of these girls are fake. What you see online is not what you look like in reality. Edited oh. pictures. Oh. At least make mom try and look now. Uh, well, our message just popped back. You know, I told you we've been chatting. Are you serious right now? Yes, yeah, so um, Where can we meet? I need to get my own girl then. Just sent me a house on trees. My name! Let me go just change up, okay? Alright, let me go change up. We'll see ya. Be right back. What's true? Get a bit of something. I got it. Hi! Hi! Um, am I right? You must be David. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting you, Parker. Uh, my pleasure. Um, why not talk in the middle of the talk? Oh, that's I'm on nice. This way, uh, but it gave me reasons to smile again. Oh, what a feeling. Anytime I close my eyes, it's you that I see. Letting you go. What's that? Uh, I'm not uh, someone who likes sitting in public, so I don't mind if you would want to go into the suit so we can... I beg your pardon. What do you take me for? A whore? No. Um, I just thought we could go into the suit where, you know, we could discuss talk and other things. I, I just don't like prying eyes and I'm a very shy person. Did I complain to you? Why would I want to go into the hotel suit when I'm not doing anything wrong? Sorry, I just figured you need your privacy, nothing more. Um, see, why did you even bring me here? I'm leaving, but I'm pissed. I'm sorry, hey, Emma, I'm sorry. That's why you guys just go on social media, sending friend requests and love images to girls to go them. See, I'm very different from this girl. I'm not like this girl, actually. It's 
fine, okay? Look, Emma, the fact I sent you a friend request is because I went through your profile and I figured you're really beautiful. Mm. And I fell hopelessly for you. Really? Yes. Wow. Like I said, I'm sorry. It was never my intention to... Stop patronizing me. You men are just the same. You are like every other man. All men are not the same, okay? They are still genuine ones. Mm. Anyways, um, what would you like? Whiskey, brandy or something? I don't do alcohol. Okay, um, can we order food? At this point, I'm not hungry. I just want to go home. Emma, well, I already said I'm sorry. It's never my intention to make you feel angry or something, please. Just go here, all of a sudden, let's go into the room. To do what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the door, okay? It's fine. That person is you. Me? Yes. How? Now, let me ask you. Why didn't you tell me what transpired between David and our daughter? Darling, there's nothing to talk about there. What our daughter did was very awful. I, I don't even know how to talk to you about it. You mean if I did not call the dog, I would not have known what happened? I will not have known the idiotic thing that your daughter has done again. Darling, at least now you know it's not my fault. But you just poured the frustration on me now. Eh? Let me tell you, your daughter is spoiled. Yes! Well, I know she didn't take that from me. What is the meaning of that? Nothing. I haven't said anything. I only said she didn't take after me on that aspect. So indirectly, you are telling me that she got her waywardness from me? Ah, I haven't said so, darling. I have not said so. I only said that I know I am not wayward. Even you can testify to that. Don't know. After all, she was We're here. Okay, we are here. So, um, yeah, is this where you live? Yes, sir. Oh, wow, your dad is a rich man. Yeah, we lost him last year. Wait, Chief Anthony, is your dad? Yeah, you knew him? Not really, I just saw the picture of his dad. How could I have forgotten that? Oh, wow. And mom? Wait, wait, sorry, what happened to him? So fat stroke. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine, it's already here. Oh, uh, what about your mom? She's fine, but she's not around. She traveled? Yeah, she went to United States of America for a moon Wow, <laughs> I like the sound of that. I guess it means up you're good. Yeah, we're all good. Oh, okay. fine. Um. I need to leave now. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's talk to you on the phone. Alright, take care. Bye bye. Bye. I can't believe that I'm falling for this. Is this love that I'm feeling? Oh, yeah. That's on that is. My beautiful darling. How are you? I'm very well. <laughs> How are you? Guess so, what? Well, Very well. Guess what? Guess what? My love, what? We delivered a lady of uh, quadruples today. What? Hey! Four babies. Four. Oh, I like kicking her early. Of course. Huh? My goodness. <laughs> you needed to be there. Oh, you know. The husband, the family, 
friends of the family all trooping in and out just to catch a glimpse of the bundle of joy. Indeed, a bundle of joy. What is that going Oh, no, no, no. We deliver that. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I will come on my way to school tomorrow to pay that. Oh, that is very kind of you. Thank you. And you have to do this on me. Wow. Oh, thanks for the kind gesture. You don't need to thank me. I just did something for the little baby. Oh, what a handful. Thank you for your kind heartedness. Okay? And you should come to mom. Can you stop? Stop shouting me with Akoy. How can I stop, my beautiful wife? You know, your type is rare to find. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you! Here we go. <laughs> so, what do you have for me? A whole lot. Honestly, I wonder why you still insist on marrying this girl. Ah, I think it makes sense now. You want to marry her because of her family's wealth? Hello. I'm not marrying her because of her family's wealth, but because of her family name. Look, she's the last daughter of um, late Antoine Kuchuko KK of AUO Motors. I'm sure you know that. But do I have to remind you that your family already has a name? So what other name do you want? Well, I just don't want to marry from a classless family. More reason I accepted uh, my mom match making Richard and I. And you know how that ended, right? <sighs> it wasn't funny. Emma is not like that, though. You know, I took her to the same suite where I took Richard to. I'm pretty sure that brought back a lot of foggy memories. <laughs> no, it didn't. It didn't bring back anything. I fell out with Richard. Yeah. Yeah. I took Emma to the same place and I was still trying to see if she would fall for the same gimmicks. Gimmicks? Yeah. Same place I took Rachel to where I ordered for her drinks. I had a little one. This girl downed the whole bottle. Drinking it like a fish. Wait. <laughs> so wait. You got her drunk? I did not get her drunk. Vincent, are you not listening to me? What is that to listen? I said I ordered a drink. I had a little and she... I started drinking it like she was a fish. I even had to tell her to stop, but she refused to stop it. Come on, man. What if she was a sister? Why would you do that? Wait, Benson, are you not listening to me? Why are you finding that? There's nothing to listen to, bro. What you did was very wrong. Why are you trying to make me feel like a bad person ah, here? I see. And then you will come back and tell me that she raped you when you got her drunk. Well, in this case, she didn't fall for your games, right? Because if she did, you would have said she raped you. Are you serious, Benson? Yes, I'm serious. Are you understanding me at all? Yes, I understand you and you're no, wrong. I don't think you get to, you get, actually get to understand me. <laughs> Honestly, I, I can't believe your mother is trying to get you another girl. After what happened with the last one she got for you. <laughs> In her dreams. I mean, who does that? Except for Professor Gloria, who thinks this one is deaf. Honestly, this is totally unacceptable. I mean, why would she think you're deaf? Maybe it's because you're very cool-headed. That's why she feels she can toss you around like a petulant child. Uh, someone is knocking. Let me get the door. Hey, hey, look. It's my parents. I'm not here. I've been going through a lot in my life Wishing to find a peace I've been going through a lot in my life Hoping to meet the right person Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions for who I want to be with? Benson, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you. David did not uh, come back to the house yesterday. Oh, why? You left in anger and uh, you didn't return. What? Why did he leave that? Did you come here? Uh, no, I, I have not seen him since yesterday. Um, There's nothing. Okay, um, should you see him? 
tell him to come back home, okay? Okay, so no problem. Thank you. Most times I wonder. chance to confront Dr. Alexander and his wife and ask them who my real parents are. Well, um, I think there's an ounce of truth there. Because why would a mother who carried a child for nine months torture him this much? You know, the same thing again to wonder. They always just get to the house and confront them and get asked them, uh, what orphanage home did he pick me from? No, did they have took me for murder? Well, if you ask me, I don't think Professor Gloria is a biological mother. There's something really off about this. Because I see no reason why you would recommend to give a great job to me. Mm -hmm. Where has he come to? Hmm? How can he just disappear into thin air just like that? How? Oh. Where is my son, woman? Come on, man. Just, just leave me. Let me think. Let me see. Allow you to think after you chase my son away from my house? How? I don't understand where that is coming from. Like, seriously? You're asking me how, Gloria? We're well, not in this house. You don't ask him to leave the house. You chase him away by not allowing him to have his way. Really? You want me to hold my hand and watch my only son get entangled with the daughter of a nobody? Hell no! He marries my son or no girl. And who is that your choice? Where is that your choice? Why can't you be reasonable for once? Why are you acting irrational, Professor? Gloria, how can you walk out of this? I will tell you that I am not for this house. David is missing. What? What? Who's David? The David you know. Information has it that he drove out of his house two nights ago and is nowhere to be found. Dr. Alexander, his father, has been searching everywhere and ought to know avail. 
So where exactly? My dear, that is the big question. Something must have prompted that. Yes. My darling. I just pray that it happens then. I think you should call him next. Call him to show him that you care. Just call him to show him how much you love him. I think it's time for you to win back your man. Yes, my dear. I don't think it's necessary. Yes, David has moved on with his life. And I suggest Rachel do the same. And uh, I really want you to drop this habit of drinking and uh, minizing. I don't even know where you took that from. She took it from you. Mm -hmm. She took her by you. I think you are gone. You are gone not for saying such. You think we don't know? Do? We think we don't know do what you politicians do. We know. What is your problem, woman? What is wrong with you? Uh, why do you like accusing me of cheating? That is because you are a cheat. You will soon leave this house, woman. <laughs> Very funny. Me, leave this house. I go nowhere. I go nowhere. If anybody wants to leave this house, how to be you? <laughs> Very soon we'll know who the man of the house is. <laughs> Nobody is driving your position with you. You are the man of the house, but man of my own. Not going through, so you switched off. Wait, are you sure that young man is okay wherever he goes? Oh, 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 that's my worry. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know where he might be right now. Oh my god. Damn, 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 where are you? Damn. It's fine, it's okay, it's fine. It's okay. Oh, he's where is him? He's okay. He'll be fine. Oh no. Okay. He'll be fine. He'll be back. Oh, he'll are you sure? Yes, yeah, he will come back. Mommy, let me try it again. Oh God! Don't try again. Don't try again. It's okay. It's fine. He will come back. He will be fine. Yes, he's fine. Wherever he is, I'm very sure he's fine. Mom, are you sure? I'm sure everyone has been calling to ascertain your whereabouts. Yes? I'm always in for my phone on silent. Well, I think you're taking this to another level. More reason I have to put my phone on silent. Well, I think you're taking this to another level, Dave. Look, Benson, I know what I'm doing. I would not allow my mother to my life for me. It doesn't work that way. Well, I agree with you. Because I really don't understand why she would stop a full grown man like him from having a stay in his father's house. Well, I'm sure you will win. <laughs> of course I will win. The only thing is, I've tried to call Emma. Emma is not picking up my calls. She's not saying anything to me. I 
don't know why she would call a pretty girl like that a thing. That is a very derogatory way to address someone. Look, if I lose Emma, I'm just going to end it all. End it all? Like kill yourself? If that's the only way I can get to my mom. No, no, no. You're going too far, bro. I won't agree to that. I'm not celebrated. Your mom is a no. And she will make marriage miserable for me. Emma. Okay, you know what? Just, just calm down. I will do something about it. Please, just give me some time. You know your mom, and you invited me over. I'm sorry. Please. Emma, Emma, just, just sleep. Okay, just sleep. I promise you, I will do something about it, okay? I just don't want to lose you now, please. I can't do this. I can't, really. Emma, Emma, if you say you love me, as you claim, why don't you just stay and fight this cause to me, please? How long do I intend to fight? I don't even have strength to fight, let alone fighting my supposed mother-in-law. I, I want out. Emma, 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 look at me, please. I'm deeply sorry. I, I, would, I will fix this. Just allow me to talk to my mother or something. Just give me some time. Emma, my world revolves around you and oh, please, I love you. What did she say? I think you have to see this yourself. She's getting married. Yes. And I'm as shocked as you are. My mother pushed out of this. I am so sensitive to your pain. I want you to pick up the pieces of your life and move forward. There's a brighter future and you will find love again. Please. I know it's not easy but you just have to try. And this phase of your life will pass. Where is my son, Gloria? Oh, please, can you let me be? I am asking you for the optimum time. Where is David? The same way you do not know his whereabouts. It is the same way I may fall worried about him. But you were the reason he left. That I asked that thing. He brought into the sitting room to come sit on my couch out of my house does not give David this, the edge, to leave this house to only God knows where. So get it. Gloria, your excesses are becoming unbearable in this house. 
I mean, how could you call your fellow human being a thing? Does that make you a good Christian? Huh? I'm asking you, C.W. or Chelady, talk to me. My son will not marry an identity. A classless girl from a classless family. It will not happen. So, this is what it's all about. Class. Of course, yes. We know who we are and what we represent. Get that. Of this charity organization is not cut out for me. Okay, Professor. You've just drawn my attention to a pertinent issue. Now tell me, who was your best father before he died? No, answer me. Who was Okafo, your late father, while he was alive? A poor primary school teacher. That is who he was. Oh. Professor Mrs. Gloria Obiani You have suddenly gone down. Uh, are you walking away? <coughs> no, come back or let us trash this class thing out once and for all. Don't go! Perhaps you will have a change of mind and go look for myself. Your father was poor. I brought you to where you are today. I don't know why poor people, people from poor families, you always like to pride yourself. Buga, when you're nothing. Without me, who? Who are you? Idiots. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find a peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things. So, oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers. Can I go for who I want? Cause that's where my head belongs. Can I test the true feeling? Cause that's the place for my I've been going through a lot in my life. Yeah, good.
I am sorry for everything. <laughs> you, you'll be sorry for yourself when you start asking my question. What question are you talking about? What question? I will just go straight to the point. Who are you? You could say it. Good. What? What is what? The same question I asked you. Tell us who is this biological parent? Oh, oh, Dad. You, you think you think things so? I mean, with the kind of attitude she's putting up, I'm suspecting that we are not your biological parents. Alex, what, what are you even talking about? Why are you whining like a child? Where is that coming from? You caught it. So, fix it. Son, I swear that my legs are that good. You are your child. I bet I do. I can't give my mom to my home. That's you? Hi. Very close. Thank you. Uh, uh. Hi. I'm, I'm very fine. Hi, are you? Oh, wow. see beauty. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh. just the way you wear this. Let's see this on me. I went for you, sir. You said? Yes. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm so tired. That's why I put everything off. I'm tired. I feel like I'm dressed. Long journey. Hi. Eh, uh, how you come here? So, what did you see me? I know that's right. So, that. Uh, uh, Youth copper, na copper. Copper weed. Copper weed? Eh. Uh, uh, you know this outside? Eh. Uh, <laughs> you know this outside? Oh, so, I get hope, Rabbi. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I get hope. I'm not going to Yes, so, she did for my girl. Hey, boy. Let's go, man. Eh, this is that. Okay, it's something good inside the bag now. Like always, I tell you, nothing will come out. Nothing, not only my clothes. I don't ever buy something. Yeah, two more. Two more. I beg you. Why don't you? What's inside this bag? Who's that bag? Where's something good inside that bag? <laughs> Next one. Oops. You think this is Jamboree? You think I'm talking here, right? You think I'm talking here? Watch out, pull my head off! Pull my prince! No, 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 Tell me, pull my prince, I'm now! Pull that thing away! You're going to hurt yourself! Put that gun away, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. But you son. You caused me so much pain. You think in my way. Now she has got into the hands of another man. A man that proposed to her just with today. Why do you cause me so much pain? I'm sorry, I'm not, not deserving her forgiveness. But finding you know, have to forgive me and I have sinned against you. Forgive me. I should forgive you. Now you tell us. Who are his parents? Unless we are his parents. You're my mother. I am your mother. You're my mother. And yet you cost me so much pain. Do you know who's what I sent away? You took up late to Anthony who got to go take care of any of motors. What? Do you even get to find out? What? Hey, what is what? I don't know. You mean is the daughter of AU Omoto CEO that you called classless? I am sorry, I didn't know. Shut up! I didn't know what you were doing this life. You're sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm ruining my life. I'm just taking away my happiness. Daddy! You're sorry! Daddy! Don't do it. Please, please, don't do it. Don't do it. I've been going through a lot in my life, wishing to find a place. I've been going through a lot in my life, hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is. Oh, God. I will not let you out of my sight, Emma. That is not Emma. I am not Emma. My name is Joma. You are Emma. You are Emma, my girl. 
Doc, I think he's going through emotional trauma because of the happenings of it. You're right. He will certainly come around. Mama, please, I need to be somewhere this afternoon. Wait, wait. Please, I'm going to ask you for a favor. I beg you not to. Stay with David for a while. Please. Mama, I can't stay with David for a while. I, I need to be somewhere this afternoon. He's pressing my hand. He's pressing my hand, though. Just, just listen. Just let me you go to where you want to go. But for now, stay with him. Please. Um, uh, please. Help David to this room. Okay, I will uh, send for a colleague of mine uh, who is a specialist in that area to come and look at it. Yes. Well, I need my Let me take you upstairs. Yes! Yeah. Yeah, just calm down. Let's handle. Let's handle. Don't go. Don't go in the sun again. All this one. Let's go. 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 Let
chain. Good. Let me never get this at all. I'm going to ask for money in marriage and I will live this kind of life. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find a peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Okay. Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Honestly, he's emotionally and psychologically traumatized. Yes, I know. Well, I advise you send him to a different environment. He needs some time alone. Some time to think, some time to meditate. You know he cannot travel now. He cannot go to the UK now. He just came back from London a few months ago. Yes, I understand that. But he doesn't have to go back to the UK. There are a lot of places he can visit. You never can tell. Maybe he might find love again and feel better. I call this for myself. I am responsible for everything that is happening now. At least I should have allowed him to introduce his guest. Maybe, well, that is why I would have found out that Emma is the daughter of Chief Sir Anthony Ugochuku KK. I didn't allow him. Well, it's so unfortunate. And it is very wrong to judge a book by its cover. I mean, you are right. Yes. Yes, absolutely, yes. My name is Prince Benson. I am the Crown Prince of Inuama Kingdom. What? Yes. Right. Well, that's why I said earlier that you don't judge a book by its cover. And you don't judge the content of a container by its container. I traveled all the way down to find true love. I really wanted that change of environment for myself. And that is why I was so happy when you found true love. But Benson, no, Prince Benson, I don't think Emma loves my, my son that much. She doesn't love David that much. That was why she couldn't even give him to another. She ran off to get married another guy. Well, you never can tell. Hello? Hello, Emma. Who is this? That's a very funny question. Don't tell me you don't know who's on the line. Please, who is this? Well, this is Benson. Okay, Benson. What is it? How are you and how is your husband? Well, we are fine. Thank you. Have you tried calling Dave to ascertain the state of his mind ever since you cheated him? I beg your pardon. I didn't jinx David. His mother was acting all iron mind free. I had to leave. Mm, yeah, his mother. You guys had a little misunderstanding and the next thing you run into another man and getting married to him without looking back? How could you do that to someone you loved? Am I that terrible? Why are you making me look like a bad person? His mother practically walked me out of the house and warned me not to come back. Well, David is in a very bad state now. He's locked up himself and he has refused to talk to anyone. Because if anything happens to him, I will hold you responsible because he's gradually losing his mind. Please, 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 Benson. Allow me to marry my husband in peace. What is this? What kind of rubbish is this? Hello? Hello? She hung up on me? Women. He loved her very much, but she never loved him. She was just using him. He never satisfied. I feel so sorry for him. The mother called me names. 
the last daughter of Chief Anthony Ugochiko Okeke, AUO Motors, name, a pain. Please, please, Francis should allow me to marry my loving Kennedy in peace. Uh -uh. I'm enjoying Abuja, it's just busy disturbing me. If anything should happen to David, I should better hold that of a very mother in response to Like it. Mm -hmm. I prepared this salad for you. See, and this salad, when I was in school, we used to cut it short, 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 short. But I said, let me try it and cut it later. Leave me outside. I cut long, long ones for you. I know you will like it. I hope you're mad. Wow. Hey, mm -hmm. I prepared this salad for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is Emma? Oh, um, Emma. Can she come around? Yes, just eat. eat. She came around, how come nobody told me? Ah. When, when she came, you were sleeping. I, I, I didn't want to wake you. You would have woken up so I can tell her how much I miss her. She promised to revisit. She gets married. How did you know? She told me. She told you. That's the most recent you have to let go. You are beginning to get everyone around you worried. You think I should? Yes. You let go. I am a woman. And I can tell you categorically that Emma or whatever her name is called, she did not. There was never a time she loved you. She was the only one who was in love in that relationship. No this and no peace. So if you would want my advice, I would want you to pick your life back. You have to stand up for yourself. I'm hot. Hot what? But the AC is on. I think I just need fresh air. Please can you take me outside? Oh, chill what about the food? Oh. It will get cold. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find the peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Uh -huh. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? A poor grown man like you, you don't know what you want. I want to see Emma. Where is Emma? You cannot see Emma. See how do you know? I want to see Emma. You can't see Emma. See how do you know? And even if you want to see her, me, I don't know who she is. Don't you don't. You don't know who Emma is. I don't know who she how is. How come you told me she came to see me and I was sleeping? You come, you came out here to receive fresh air. Please, let's just walk around. Don't go inside. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, please open the gate. I want to go and see Emma. Uh, excuse me. Respect your statement. You know you are not fully recovered. Go. Go back to your gate. You never know what's happening. Go here. Why don't you want me to go and see Emma? Because Emma is in Abuja. She is happily married. She is married and she lives with her husband in Abuja. Her husband? Yes. Married? Yes. That is the more reason you have to forget about Emma. And think about yourself. You are doing yourself more harm than good. Emma is living her life, enjoying herself in Abuja. And here you are wasting your own life. I did not mean wasting your life. I mean, I mean enjoying your life. Just wanna be happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find a peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. 
Hoping to meet the right person Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers. Do you, do you like cartoon? Do you watch cartoon? Like, tell it to be. I want to show you something. Hope you don't mind. This is me <laughs> in my NIC orientation camp, marching. You know how all these uh, uh, military people can be very mean with coppers. Stand here! Do this! When the governor comes, sometimes they still show these are camp. They have to cheer for the governor. You know it, Abby. This way I was marching. It's because of my hips. That's why I'm not marching well. Not like. Okay, let me remove this one. Like, you don't like this one. Okay. See this one. Campus. And now I'm in campus. See this one. <laughs> this particular sleepers, I had it for three years. See, these three people now, with this cultural day in school, Igbo, Aousa, and Yoruba. <laughs> I don't like my pictures, sorry. Do you have pictures in your phone? Yeah. I heard you are a trained doctor. A trained doctor behaving like this. Hey! How do you not treat your own patient? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has no doubt her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place and it's not good. Eh? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's no patient that will treat doctor. Okay, now that I'm not... had allowed these children to be what is happening will not be happening now. No, I don't think I think Emma did not love me in the first place. We do do that. I had a discussion with her. Dave? David, what what's going on? Madam Stella's daughter. Hmm. I see. How, how long has it been like this? For a while now. Why? Don't know. His father said it's called trauma. Maybe from past experiences or something. I don't know. But he said he would come around. That's what the doctor, his father said. Me. But why are you doing this to yourself? You're worried about another girl that's married to another man. Please, who is Emma? Emma is his ex. And she's married to another man now. Good to be
I brought juice for you so that you will drink. Let me open it. Yeah? I brought juice for you, David. Bro. No. I don't want any juice. Don't you get it? Emma is what I want. You don't get me anything, but you keep calling Emma, 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 Emma. Emma, that girl, the day I left here I called her <laughs> and I was very surprised that she doesn't have my number saved on her phone and I'm sure she doesn't even have David's number too. I thought you were moving up. Oh, so I thought, I actually thought they loved each other but it is obvious that David loved her more than she loved him. And that was why she immediately ran off to marry another man. Hmm. Again, again. Hold up the call. It's very embarrassing. I think that is. I think for this, it's the more reason David has to move on with his life as soon as possible. He has to forget about that. I agree with you. Um. But please, I want you to support him. He's, he really needs that emotional and mental support right now. And I understand that this is not your plan, or this was not your plan after your NYC. But please just help him. Okay. To think that Emma is married means she was seeing her husband and David at the same time. Yes, because her marriage was so sudden. It's obvious. I can read in between lines. My Show point. Of dating. My point exactly. I just feel for him. I feel so sorry for him. So how is he? He's sleeping. What? He's sleeping, Mama. Sleeping. That young man has not slept for days. He's sleeping. How did you do it? Just wanna be happy. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been going through a lot in my life, wishing to find the peace. I've been going through a lot in my life, hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers. Do you, do you like cartoon? Do you watch cartoon? Like, tell it to be. I get it. Um, I want to show you something. Hope you don't mind. This is me <laughs> in my NYC orientation camp, marching. You know how all these. Uh, and only two people can be very mean with coppers. Stand here! Do this! When the governor comes, sometimes the social shoot. He's our cap. They have to cheer for the governor. You know it, Abby. <laughs> this way I was marching. It's because of my hips. That's why I'm not marching well. It's not like. Okay, let me remove this one. Like, you don't like this one. Okay. So this one. Campus. And now he's in campus. So this is one. <laughs> this particular sleep pass, I had it for three years. See, these three people now, with this cultural day in school. Ibo, Aosa, and Yoruba. <laughs> I don't like my pictures, sorry. Do you have pictures in your phone? Yeah. I 
hand you a trained doctor. A trained doctor behaving like this. Hey! How will you not treat your own patient? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has moved out her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place and it's not good. Eh? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's not patient that will treat doctor. Okay, now that I'm not. Mama, I do not even know who to blame for his predicament. The mother or Emma. I feel so sorry for him, Mama. What he's going through could have happened to anybody. The news of Emma's marriage broke into a thousand pieces. He devastated that boy. This is what we call pure love. Even when he has found out that Emma is married to another man, he has refused to accept the glaring reality. But I still maintain that prophecy is reason for what has happened to that boy. You're not far from the truth, Mama. Oh, Mama, you see these big men children, they don't take rubbish. They don't take nonsense. Patience, they lack it. You see that day that prophet sorted again? When she asked her to get out of the house, that was the day she started to accept the other man's proposal. You think so? I know so. Mama and my girl. You see, Kennedy has been in the picture long before she even met David. Hmm. Girls. It's the truth. It's just that she was just trying to choose who is best for her. You understand? But prop her to help her make the decision. Because after her encounter with Prof, the poor girl decided to roll with the adulterer big boy. And she married one out of the other one. <laughs> Who won't do that? Mama, see, let me tell you. You see David, you see Emma. I don't think they were ever meant for each other. She was just between these two men. Kennedy and David. She was trying to choose who's best for her. And see, uh, uh, David now, uh, the mother was misbehaving. Who wants to uh, uh, choose, choose the other person? Because who wants to enter fire? The way Prof is behaving, you know, she will be scared now. And after all, well, she will have love. She has somebody to choose from. If it's like other guests now that I not even see somebody to say hello to them, to talk of hi to them, eh, eh, at least we will not start complaining. But then they have two suitors. Eh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they have the right to choose. It's your mother. What are you doing, ma? Please sit. Are you sent for me? Yes, I did. Okay. I want us to talk. Sit down. So, please sit. Um, Ijama, you are doing a great job with David. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, you're done with your NYSC. Yes, sir. I am thinking of uh, employing you to continue taking care of David. Before, so that I can fully come back to his feet. But, Mom, I, do, I don't want to. That's not the kind of job I want for myself. Oh, I was thinking a job is a job. What kind of job do you desire for yourself? <laughs> Ma, as a young graduate, I want to go out to the streets and look for a good job, a good paying job, so I can liberate my family from poverty. You know, some children are opportune today to be born with silver spoon. Why some are born into lack and hardship? I happen to be one of them. I know what it took my mother to train me in the university. And I still have younger ones. So I would want to have a good job so I can assist her in training them. I am, I am thinking of employing you, you know, instead of jumping under the scorching sun, for a job out, looking for where you'll be employed. I am thinking of gainfully employing you to continue taking care of David until he's fully back on his feet. I'm sorry, Ma. With all due respect, Ma, I don't want. I want an office job. 
I don't want to be a man. Uh, I beg your man. If it's not as if this is coming with nothing, I will pay you weekly. I'll pay you 50,000 naira every week until David is fully back on his feet. 50,000 naira weekly. That's what you'll be paying me like weekly, not monthly. Yes, like weekly. Okay. That means 200,000 a month. Yes, a so month can come with five weeks. So it's 250. How did she call it? For a job opportunity. Be a nanny to David. It will never happen. I did not send you to the university to graduate and then choose a job of a nanny. What is that? Money that ask how much is this money? I don't care. I do not care what it is. Did you accept? No, I told her I want to work in the office. I do not want to work as a man. Good. Oh, no, 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 we should consider David first. Hey, John, mm -hmm. whatever is happening to that boy is a, it's our own business. She's the architect of our own misfortune. You should not put it on me. No! 50,000 is For what? You still are a victim. That's what she will be paying you. Even at that. Yeah, mama? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's 200,000 more. Is that okay? Even like with the one million. That's good. Mama's school fee. Ijama. Ijama, I am really impressed. Mm -hmm. As your work as uh, Davis nanny. Thank you so much. You're welcome, ma. Actually, I should be the one thanking you so much. Because I noticed he's doing well. Even though the the work is happening, it's a heavy task. But you're doing it with all diligence. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. Uh, I have noticed something. I don't know how you did it. That David was able to forget Emma. Because I noticed for some time he has not been mentioning that name around here. Thank you so much for the way you are taking care of my son. Ma, it's God. It's God in heaven that did it for me. Thank you. You're welcome. What is this? We are doing on my salary, right? Yes. And that is salary for the week, 50,000 naira. Ma, please, can you take it? Hold on, No. I'm sorry, Ma, I don't... I don't need... No, I need the money, but I don't want it, Ma. But you worked for it, you earned it. Yes, I know. It's your money. Yes, ma, but I have decided not to take anything from you. What? Ma, please, just see it this way. What if David were to be my brother? Won't I take care of him? I will take care of him without demanding for anything. All I want is for David to get better, for him to get back on his feet. Then I will go out there and look for a good job. Honestly, I don't want, I don't know what to say. Uh, I am kind of speechless. Ma, please don't be. You've been very kind to my mother. She has been with you for years. You and your husband. You two have been taking good care of her, paying her, her salary. David is like a brother to me. This is the least I can do for him. <laughs> if she thinks it, it's okay. Yes, I 
we both agreed on a plane of 50,000 naira. At that point, she didn't say anything until today. I'm surprised. Same as me, because I was shocked in my bum as to what I heard and thought of this. Anyway, I've always known that girl to be a very good girl. I'm telling you. Obviously, she is. Yeah. Have you noticed our some sudden improvement? That guy improved. <laughs> you're laughing. Hmm? It is your over-possessive behavior that caused him the trauma. Now you're laughing. Honey. But I've said I am sorry already. Is it not enough? Is it not enough? You're sorry. I'm rubbing it on my face. Okay, I I hope you learn from it. Honey, once David bounces back on his feet now, he is free to love any girl of his choice, whether from a rich background, whether from a poor background, in fact, from any tribe. Even the lowest of tribe, I don't care. Don't mind. Let him just be happy. Are you serious right now? Ah, serious. Very serious. Ah, so, <laughs> how about that? Uh, Dad, I want to step out and see someone. Are you sure you'll be fine? Yeah, sure. Yeah. See you soon. Okay. Wow. Honey, hmm. do you notice know something? What? David did not talk to me. He didn't even behave as if he noticed anybody like me here. Yeah. Are you expecting any response from me? What is it? Okay. David stepped out of the house. Which David? The one you know also that person is outside. David. Yes. How come? I don't know. Hey, hey. That young man is in a perfect condition. Yes. Mom. David drove out of the house. Yes. Mom, are you sure he's fit enough to drive out? Perfectly okay. You need to see the Surprise on his parents' faces when you are moving out. I am so happy. Hey! David, this is 
is the miracle. I'm so happy for him. I can't wait for him to come back home. I'm going to see him. He'll come back. He's not going to see dinner. So he'll surely come back. Immediately I just slept. He just slept. Yeah, like that. He will surely come back. He's not going to sleep there. Ah ah. So I went out and David went out. Yeah. Yay! Hey, God Almighty. That boy is so handsome. You young girls, you don't really move your eyes from these handsome men. You look at them, pia, 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 pia. you, 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 Ah, someone can wish for anything they want in this life. After all, ask and shall be given to you. Me, I wish to marry somebody like David. A handsome man like him, a man that has more of grabinos, you know, a man that is, you know, a very fed man. Just have your head. Yeah. Like that. Number one is it. Why? Is she the one that we're going to marry her? After all, it's not, it's not David I'm, talk, uh, I'm talking about. I just said I wish to marry somebody like him. I did not say David. I said somebody like him. You're asking me that question. Ijama. 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 I'm actually asking that for you. Good. Whoa! <laughs> How do you know this thing? I know this thing. <laughs> Wait a minute, just let it off and try it on again. Wow! wow. Amazing! Wow, wow, wow. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. You're a really good thing. Uh, uh, sorry, what's your name? Oh, my name is Sophia. How about you? Um, my name is Dr. David. Dr. David. Yeah. Okay. So what has to be doing? Um, I just visited with you too. Mm. So I was trying to work at my dad's private visit. Oh, your dad is a medical doctor. Yes, of course. Nice. Easier. <laughs> I guess your mom is a doctor as well. Not really, not really. My mom is a lecturer at the State University. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh Professor Gloria. <laughs> That's your mom? Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Wow. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know. I would love to see you more. Fine, my phone is in the car, but I can do it. I will just see my phone. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Bye. 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 Now that David is back on his feet, I think this is the right time to get a good job for myself. I can't wait for you to be gainfully employed, my daughter. Mama, I just need a good job so I can wipe away your tears. You surely have one. I have to turn up my prayer for you every day. To think that you have to become a housekeeper so you can take care of us. It's something I hold dear to my heart. Thank you so much, Mama. David. Marafella, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. You, do you want something? Uh, not really. I just came to speak to that. Oh, okay. Is that all? That's all. Okay. I'll be my room. Okay. I'm 
so happy. So happy that he's on his feet again. Perfect. Hey, Joma. Me too, I'm happy.
Spirit. Like you, you don't know what you want. I want to see Emma. Where is Emma? You cannot see Emma. See how do you know? I want to see Emma. You can't see Emma. See how do you know? And even if you want to see her, me, I don't know who she is. Don't you don't. You don't know who Emma is. I don't know who she how is. How come you told me she came to see me and I was sleeping? Did you come? You came out here to receive her. Please, let's just walk around. Get one. Get one. Please open the gate. I want to go and see Emma. Uh, excuse me. Respect your statement. You know you are not fully recovered. Go. Go back to your duty. You want to go with me. Why don't you want me to go and see Emma? Because Emma is in Abuja. She is happily married. She is married and she lives with her husband in Abuja. Her husband? Yes. Married? Yes, that is the more reason you have to forget about Emma and think about yourself. You're doing yourself more harm than good. Emma is living her life, enjoying herself in Abuja, and here you are wasting your own life. You. And I did not mean wasting your life. I mean. I just wanna be happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find the peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers. Do you, do you like cartoon? Do you watch cartoon? Like, tell it to be. I want to show you something. Hope you don't mind. This is me <laughs> in my NIC orientation camp, marching. You know how all these uh, uh, military people can be very mean with coppers. Stand here! Do this! When the governor comes, sometimes they still show these are camp. They have to cheer for the governor. You know it, Abby. This way I was marching. It's because of my hips. That's why I'm not marching well. Not like. Okay, let me remove this one. Like, you don't like this one. Okay. See this one? Campus. And now I'm in campus. See this one? <laughs> this particular slippers, I had it for three years. See, these three people now, with this cultural day in school, Igbo, Aousa, and Yoruba. 
Don't like my pictures, sorry. You have pictures in your phone. Yeah. I heard you are a trained doctor. Yeah. Hey! Ah, a trained doctor behaving like this. Hey! How do you not treat your own patients? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has no doubt her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place and it's not good. Eh? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's no patient that will treat doctor. Okay, now that I'm not... had allowed these children to be what is happening will not be happening now. No, I don't think I think Emma did not love me in the first place. We do do that. I had a discussion with her. Dave? David, what what's going on? I see. But how, how long has it been like this? For a while now. Why? Don't know. His father said it's called trauma. Maybe from past experiences or something. I don't know. But he said he would come around. That's what the doctor, his father said. Me. But why are you doing this to yourself? You're worried about another girl that's married to another man. Please, who is Emma? Emma is his ex. And she's married to another man now. Good to be I brought juice for you so that you will drink. Let me open it. Yeah? I brought juice for you, David. I don't want any juice. Don't you get it? Emma is what I want. You're not getting any juice. You keep calling Emma, 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 Emma. Emma. That girl. The day I left here, I called her. <laughs> and I was very surprised that she doesn't have my number saved on her phone. And I'm sure she doesn't even have David's number too. I thought you were Oh, so I thought. I actually thought they loved each other. But it is obvious that David loves her more than she loves him. And that was why she immediately ran off to marry another man. Hmm. I guess, yeah. Hold up the corner. It's very embarrassing. I think that is, I think for this, it's the more reason David has to move on with his life as soon as possible. He has to forget about that. I agree with you. Um, but please, I want you to support him. He really needs that emotional and mental support right now. And I understand that this is not your plan, or this was not your plan after your NYC. But please just help him.
To think that Emma is married means she was seeing her husband and David at the same time. Yes, because her marriage was so sudden. It's obvious. I can read in between lines. My she point. Was dating. My point exactly. I just feel for him. I feel so sorry for him. So how is he? He's sleeping. What? He's sleeping, Mama. Sleeping. That young man has not slept for days. He's sleeping. How did you do it? Just wanna be happy. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find the peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers. Do you, do you like cartoon? Do you watch cartoon? Like, tell it to be. I get it. Um, I want to show you something. Hope you don't mind. This is me <laughs> in my NIC orientation camp, marching. You know how all these. Uh, and uh, two people can be very mean with copper. Stand here! Do this! When the governor comes, sometimes the still shoot. He's a cap. They have to cheer for the governor. You know it, Abby. <laughs> this way I was marching. It's because of my hips. That's why I'm not marching well. It's not like. Okay, let me remove this one. Like, you don't like this one. Okay. So this one. Campus. And I was in campus. So this one. <laughs> this particular slippers, I had it for three years. See, these three people now, with this cultural day in school, Ibo, Aousa, and Yoruba. <laughs> I don't like my pictures, sorry. Do you have pictures in your phone? Yeah. I heard you are a trained doctor. Yeah. Hey! Ah, a trained doctor behaving like this. Hey! How do you not treat your own patient? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has moved out her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place, and it's not good. Eh? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's not patient that will treat doctor. Okay, now that I'm not. Mama, I do not even know who to blame for his predicament. The mother or Emma. I feel so sorry for him, Mama. What he's going through could have happened to anybody. The news of Emma's marriage broke into a thousand pieces. He devastated that boy. This is what we call pure love. Even when he has found out that Emma is married to another man, he has refused to accept the glaring reality. But I still maintain that prophecy is the reason for what has happened to that boy. You're not far from the truth, Mama. Oh, Mama, you see these big men children? They don't take rubbish. They don't take nonsense. Patience, they lack it. You see that day that prophet sorted her again, when she asked her to get out of the house? That was the day she started to accept the other man's proposal. You think so? I know so. Mama and Miguel, 
You see, Kennedy has been in the picture long before she even met David. Hmm. Yes. It's the truth. It's just that she was just trying to choose who is best for her. You understand? But prop her to help her make the decision. Because after her encounter with Prof, the poor girl decided to roll with the adulterer big prof. And she married one out of the other one. Uh -huh. Who won't do that? Mama see, let me tell you. You see David, you see Emma. I don't think they were ever meant for each other. She was just between these two men, Kennedy and David. She was trying to choose who's best for her. And see, uh, uh, David you now, the mother was misbehaving. Who wants to uh, 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 choose choose the other person? Because who wants to enter fire? The way Prof is behaving, you know, she will be scared now. And after all, well, she will have love. She has somebody to choose from. If it's like other guests now that I not even see somebody to say hello to them, to talk of hi to them, uh, uh, at least we will not start complaining. But then they have two suitors, and yeah, they, are, they, are, they, are, they have the right to choose. Hey, Joanna! Good day, ma. What are you doing, ma? Oh, please sit. I'm oh, just waiting for me. That's like it. That's it. I want us to talk. Sit down. So good. Please sit. Um, Ijama, you are doing a great job with David. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, you're done with your NYSC? Yes, sir. I am thinking of uh, employing you to continue taking care of David. Before, so that I can fully come back to his feet. Mom, I, do, I don't want to. That's not the kind of job I want for myself. Oh, I was thinking a job is a job. What kind of job do you desire for yourself? Ma, as a young graduate, I want to go out to the streets and look for a good job, a good paying job, so I can liberate my family from poverty. You know, some children are opportunity to, to be born with silver spoon. Why some are born into lack and hardship? I happen to be one of them. I know what it took my mother to train me in the university and I still have younger ones. So I would want to have a good job so I can assist her in training them. Um, I am thinking of employing you, you know, instead of jumping under the scorching sun for a jump out, looking for where you'll be employed. I am thinking of gainfully employing you to continue taking care of David until he's fully back on his feet. So, ma, with all due respect, ma, I don't want. To, I want an office job. I don't want to be a man. Ah, uh, Ijo, it's it's not as if this is coming with nothing. I will pay you weekly. I'll pay you fifty thousand naira every week until David is fully back on his feet. Fifty thousand naira weekly. Mm -hmm. That's what you'll be paying me, like weekly, not monthly. Yes, like we pay. Uh, that means 200,000 a month. Yes, a month, a month can come with five weeks. So it's 250. How did she call it? For a job opportunity. Be a nanny today. I did not send you to the university to graduate and then choose a job of a nanny. What is that? Money that I how much is this money? I don't care. I do not care what it is. Did you accept? No. I told her I want to work in the office. I do not want to work as a nanny. Good. Oh, I mean, we should consider David first. Hey, John, mm -hmm. whatever is happening to that boy is it's our own business. She's the architect of her own misfortune. You should not put it on me. No! 50,000 is For what? Mr. Larry, weekly, that's what she'll be paying me. Uh, even at that. Yeah, Mama? Mm -hmm. 50,000 weekly. Mm -hmm. That's 200,000 a month. Yeah, okay. Even less than 1 million. 
Hey, Jama. Hey, Jama. I am really impressed. As your work as a DB's nanny. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Actually, I should be the one thanking you so much. Because I noticed he's doing well. Even though the, the work is happening, it's a heavy task. But you're doing it with all diligence. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, I have noticed something. I don't know how you did it. That David was able to forget Emma. Because I noticed for some time he has not been mentioning that name around here. Thank you so much for the way you are taking care of my son. Ma, it's God. It's God in heaven that did it for me. Thank you. You're welcome. What is this? We are doing the salary, right? Yes. And that is salary for the week, 50,000 there. Oh, but please, can you take it for one more money? No. I'm sorry, ma, I don't... I don't need... No, I need the money, but I don't want it, ma. But you worked for it, you earned it. Yes, I know. It's your money. Yes, ma, but I have decided not to take anything from you. What? But please, just see it this way. What if David were to be my brother? Won't I take care of him? I will take care of him without demanding for anything. All I want is for David to get better, for him to get back on his feet. Then I will go out there and look for a good job. Honestly, I don't want, I don't know what to say. I am kind of speechless. But please don't be. You've been very kind to my mother. She has been with you for years. You are your husband. You two have been taking good care of her, paying her, her salary. David is like a brother to me. This is the least I can do for him. <laughs> if she thinks it, it's okay. Possessive behavior that caused him the trauma. Now you are laughing. Honey, but I've said I am sorry already. Is it not enough? Is it not enough? You're sorry. I'm rubbing it on my face. Okay, I, I hope you will learn from it. Honey, once David bounces back on his feet now, he is free to love any girl of his choice, whether from a rich background. Whether from a poor banker, in fact, from any tribe. Even the lowest of tribe, I don't care. Don't mind. Let me just be happy. Are you serious right now? Ah, serious. Very serious. Ah. So, <laughs> how about Ben? Um, Dad, I want to step out and see someone. 
Are you sure you will be fine? I'm sure. Okay. See you soon. Okay. Wow. Honey? Hmm. Do you notice something? What? David did not talk to me. He didn't even behave as if he noticed anybody like me here. Yeah. Are you expecting any response from me? What is it? Okay. David stepped out of the house. Which David? The one you know also that person is outside. David. Yes. How come? I don't know. Hey, hey. That young man is in a perfect condition. Yes. Mom. David drove out of the house. Yes. Mom, are you sure he's fit enough to drive out? Perfectly okay. You need to see the Surprise from his parents' faces when you are moving out. I am so happy. Hey! David, this is a miracle. I'm so happy for him. I can't wait for him to come back home. Of course, you see him. He'll come back. He's not going to sleep there. So he will surely come back. Immediately, I just left. He just left. Sure, like that. He will surely come back. He's not going to sleep there. Ah ah! So I went out and David went out. Sure. Yay! God of mercy. That boy is so handsome. You young girls, you don't really move your eyes from these handsome men. You look at them, pia, 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 pia. you. See, Jama? Mama, it's not a bad thing. Ah, someone can wish for anything they want in this life. After all, ask and shall be given to you. Me, I wish to marry somebody like David. A handsome man like him. A man that has more of Grabinos, you know. A man that is, you know. I'm Bobby. Okay. Very fed man. <laughs> Prof, you just have your head. Yeah! Like that. No, I want it. Why? Is she the one that we're going to marry her? After all, it's not, it's not David I'm, talk, I'm, I'm talking about. I just said I wish to marry somebody like him. I did not say David. I said somebody like him. You're asking me that question. Good job. Good job, man. Hey, Joma, I'm actually going to call you. Good. Oh, nice. Whoa! <laughs> How do you know this thing? I know this thing. <laughs> Wait a minute, let's put it over and try it on again. Oh. Wow, that's oh, amazing. Wow. 
Sorry, what's your name? Oh, my name is Sophia. How about you? Um, my name is Dr. David. Dr. David? Yeah. Okay, so what has to do? Um, I just visited with you today. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to work at my dad's private visit. Oh, your dad is a medical doctor? Yes, doctor. Nice. Pretty good. <laughs> I guess your mom is a doctor as well. Not really, not really. My mom is a lecturer at the State University. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Professor Gloria. <laughs> That's your mom? Yes. Oh my yes. god! Yes. Wow! <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't know. I would love to see you more. Maybe they can tell you something. Fine, my phone is in the car, but I can do it. I will just see my phone so you can just drop it there. Yeah. Oh boy. Don't forget to call me. Alright. Bye. Bye. See ya. See you. Oh no. Hey! Oh my kids are going to be stuck Hey! He's welcome. Back. He doesn't know when I give out my time. <sighs> Not that gym party that's always there to stop me up and down. Freaky. Huh? Be fine, boy. Bye, boy. Hey. I think. New boyfriend here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, now that David is back on his feet, I think this is the right time to get a good job for myself. I can't wait for you to be gainfully employed, my daughter. Mama, I just need a good job so I can wipe away your tears. You surely have one. I have to turn up my prayer for you every day. To think that you have to become a housekeeper so you can take care of us. It's something I hold dear to my heart. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you. Uh, David. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. Do you, do you want something? Uh, not really. I just can't speak to you. Oh, okay. Is that all? That's all. Okay. I'll be my room. Okay. I'm so happy. So happy that he's on his feet again. Perfect. Hey, Joma. Me too, I'm happy. Um, shower and get to bed. Uh, what about you do? How are you? Uh, 
I just went out to go and get some things in the plaza. Oh, okay. Okay. okay that's good. Anyways, uh, I'll get them. All right. All right, baby. I love you. <laughs> All right. Bye. I'll call you, my baby. Love you. Hello. Yeah, not quite long ago I'm in my room now. Uh no, you can't come into my house now and you know it. Yeah, I know. This is not the fault. My mom. Look, I'm my only child. You know what? I'll be on my way to you this evening, okay? So I'm off. Okay. Okay. Why did you just give me your virginity? Don't for the world I'm in love with all the time. Thank you for all your today. Hello? Hello? Babe? What happened? Babe, I'm so 
sorry, my mom just drove in and came to check up on me. God has not. Everything okay? No, 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 no problem at all. I was worried. Stop. I'll talk to you later. I'm not the mommy's boy. She's just making sure I'm fine, that's all. Yeah, she's gone. She's gone now. We'll just quickly step in, have a shower, and get the place to come see you, okay? I love them as much as they love me. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. I mean, Ijeoma gave up a white collar job just to be with you and to see you get back on your feet. And I try to pay her back. <laughs> Check of one million years, so that's not only ten. Okay. No, I don't want. No, I don't. I don't need. I, I don't want the money from you. 
I did not do it for the money. One millionaire. I don't know. I had to pay her back, but she declined. She refused to collect my money. Well, she fell in love with you, and that was why she refused the one million you offered her. I know. I know, but I just wish I never met Sophia, you know. Funny enough, I met her on my way to come see you. That's how life just took a new turn in that chapter. And that's how life took a different turn, and I fell in love. Well, if you ask me, I'd say you focus on Ijeoma. She deserves all your attention. There's no need to double date. You know, she doesn't go to ask me questions. Like who I'm with, she doesn't care if I'm with anybody. She loves me selflessly. More reason she offered me a virginity. What? Yeah, bro. She gave you her virginity? Yeah, she gave me probably she into the plot, but I didn't ask why she gave it to me. Look, I was on the call with Sophia the other day and she just got into my room and just opened up that Kobe body of hers. Bro, what did you expect me to do? Then why didn't you decline? Declined? Yes. Have you seen Ijoma? Oh no, oh no. Have you seen... Okay, no, no, you haven't. She's beautiful. Really? So, let me answer your question. If you had to make a choice, who would you choose? <sighs> Bro, you come stuck in between. The Sophia on one end, the classy, beautiful, you know? The kind of lady I would choose over and over again and this is your mom on the other end. Beautiful <laughs> in and out. Bro, look, I'm confused, man. Bro, confused. Bro, I mean, it is ridiculous. You can't love two women equally. No, oh, that's the You want to be polygamous in nature? Your father was never polygamous. <clears throat> no, I'm not, you know. I'm not. Oh my god. this guy must he keep me waiting for eternity I've not told you that you can keep Risha Uh, I've been at Benson's, I went to see him. 
Okay. Um, look, I'm so hungry. What do you have for me? Um, there's food. I'll just eat your food. Okay. Why are you staring at me like that? Because I'm one of looking at you. Um, I'll be my room. I shouldn't serve a food in then. First century. David. Mom. You have a time frame. And it's time counting from now. To propose to a girl and bring her home to us. What is all this? You are 29 and still single. Besides, you're our only child and the only male child of the family. Oh, I know. That's why I said give me more time. But I'm putting things in place. Besides, I don't want to make a mistake in picking a spouse. It's, a, it's going to be big trouble for me. And I'm not cutting for all that. So just give me more time, please. Unfortunately, David, you don't have time. 
I mean, look at us. We are getting old, and uh, we need grandchildren. Of course, plenty of them. Okay. So, if you are finding it difficult to find someone to bring home, then I'm afraid we are going to eat a bed. And in that case, you will have to make do with our choice. <laughs> no, 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 Dad. No, look. I will make my own choice for myself, please. Okay, just give me time. David, do all you have to do. That thing you ought to do, do it immediately. Okay. What's <laughs> wrong Adam, 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 go into the car. I don't want your girl to come here, okay? I don't want the woman to romantic this issue. Let me get into the car and go to the house. Oh, she's going there now. Go, go, go. Dad, what's wrong with me? I'm fine. I know, I know. Let's just go. Let's go. You are fine. I'm good. You are good. You are good. I'm good. I'm very good. Nothing is wrong with me. I'm fine. No, you are good. Go. Aya, let's go. Okay, let's just go out. I'm thinking where? to go out. Where? going where? Huh? She's going with you? Yeah, yeah. we're going, we're going somewhere. Go with you? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, Dad. I go with you. Happy birthday. Sorry. Sorry, I was not able to make it. But I told you. My interview and your birthday clashed. Anyways, you stood me up yesterday. I was waiting for you to turn up. I didn't turn up. I'm sorry. Circumstance beyond my control. I, I promise I'll make it up to you. It's okay. And so, where are you going? I don't want to step out. Okay. I don't want to quickly see my friend. I'll be back in a G Okay. Um, IG, hmm? I have something to say. What's that? My my parents asked me to bring my the wife I want to marry. Yes, the woman I want to marry. Really? Yeah, and um, I want to go give her some money so that she could. Get some clothes and look good on that day. You want to go give her some Okay, she, she, she doesn't owe oh, you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Come, congratulations to her. She's very lucky. <laughs> lucky to her. I'll see you soon, okay? an end to whatever is between you and David. It's not as easy as you're saying it, Mama. Ijoba, if that thing gets out of hand, do you know what will happen to us? We will automatically be thrown out of this house. There will be no need for that. Unfortunately, he's already on his way now. So go and propose to the woman he needs. Who told you that? Loves? Who told you that? He told me himself. Mm. 
two of you are close to each other. Even the blind man feels exactly what you feel for yourself. His choice of choosing another person over you is what I don't really understand. And it is the reason you should just put an end to this whole thing. I love him so much, Mama. I love him. It's not easy. Hey, John. He has not gone to choose somebody over you. How do you feel about it? I feel so sad. I feel so terrible, Mama. If a two-player had told me that David, after confessing all his love for me, would leave me to go and propose to someone else, I swear I would have believed. I don't know how to express myself when I'm sad, but I'm heartbroken, Mama. It's okay. Pass this to you. Hmm? A good man will come ask for your hand in marriage. Hmm? Kill whatever feelings you have for the week. Happy first day, my love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So how was your birthday celebration? It was fine. It was good, right? Yeah. You didn't invite me to your birthday celebration, so I had to wait here for you. But anyway, since you're here, I have a surprise for you. Really? Mm-hmm. I... I also have a surprise for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, you want to hear? Yes, of course. Sorry. Um, I, um, my parents said I should bring the girl I want to marry for introduction. Really? Yes. So you're taking me? Um, as soon as I'm leaving here, I'm going straight to her house to give her some money to get some nice clothes. I don't understand. Wait, you? I should have known you were a cheat. So you've been cheating on me all this while? Really? Calm down, why are you sorting out boys? I don't understand you now. You've been cheating on me all this while. Please. Oh, I see. You've been sampling me, eh? You've been having sex with me. Just... It's good. It's alright. It's fine. I mean, I thought you loved me. You just keep telling me you love me, you love me, and... You have someone else you want to get married to. Babe, look, it's, it's, it's no, it's no... You know what? You're kidding me. You are stupid. You are a fool. It hasn't got to the name Colin. Yes, it has gotten to that. You know what? Just leave my house. Okay? I'm done. Just leave my house. Leave! If, in fact, you can stay here if you want to stay. But I don't want to see you when I get back. I'm going to do something to you. Stop now. Stop these tears. It's enough. Stop asking me to prepare vegetables and periwinkles. Let's get to work. You know it. If it is not done on time, you know how. She'll start yelling. I don't want anybody to yell at me. Niji, will you stop? I know what to do now. I think tomorrow when I'm leaving this house. Why? Okay, he shows I'm not over you. Did I not warn you? I'm after everything. Everything. I'm so sad. I feel so bad. <laughs> Ijo, I told you, I warned you. Collect whatever monetary offer that is coming from that end. It's in back. Now you have lost everything. And you can if somebody walks in here now and ask why you're shedding tears, what will you expect to tell That David broke my heart. <laughs> that David broke your heart. Can you imagine that guy? I see him. <laughs> Look at what he's doing. <laughs> really? I <laughs> <laughs>
good luck. <laughs> Fair way, flap. So obvious. Are you okay? Babe, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Okay. I know I should have told you this a long time ago. What is it? Say it already. What is it? <laughs> Tell me all this why. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, Dave, what's up, man? Oh, wow. So, how did it go? Um, did you tell the Gemma about it? David sent to me. David just sent me 300,000. He said that I should use the 300,000 he just sent to me to get a dress. I've seen his parents this weekend. I don't understand. Is everything alright with him? I understand. I know that face. Why me? Why did you choose me? I mean, of all the girls you've seen in this world, of all the girls you've come across, you choose me? Babe, I have been through so much in the hands of girls. And when I found you, I had peace. I am so glad that I found true love. That's all I've ever wanted. God. God, who am I? Who am I that you have shown me mercy? <laughs> you are a prince. You are a good lady and you deserve <gasps> it. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just I'm feeling hot. I know. <laughs> I know that feeling. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay. What about your parents? Are you sure they will accept me? <laughs> well, at this point, they don't have a choice but to accept you. Because I choose you. Okay. But what about the princess, the princesses? I mean, your sister. <laughs> I have four siblings. So I'm the first. Three girls and one boy. Okay, um, this, 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 
Let me go fetch my mother. Okay. Hi. Okay. I, I just feel so nasty. I don't know, like, I feel your parents, I don't know. I don't what know. is it? Calm down. Calm down. Relax. Okay? Hey, look. Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay. I love you. And I want to be with you. So my mother has no choice but to accept you, okay? So just relax. Hmm? I don't know. I just wish you were not happy. I don't know. I don't know how to relax. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. No, you should not. Just easy. Easy, okay? Easy. Allow me to handle it. Okay. Hey, relax. Just calm down. Mama, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Don't be scared. Sit down. Sit down, sit down. Have you just said that? Hmm? Calm down, look at how good it is. You look free. It's so sweet. Wow! So it's your mind's finally choosing one. Hmm. My friend. Here you have a job now. Wow! <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Relax. I really feel like calm down. Okay, you see them, sir. So. Is she the one? John. Yes, mom. She's the one. Mom, I I love your mom so much. My world revolves around her and life is made in a stuff. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm looking like this. Make sure we'll see you out. Oh, 
I found peace in you. I found joy. 